Hello and welcome to Medicine in 5 Minutes. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. This is a series on my YouTube channel where we look at medical topics in the shortest space of time. In this episode today, we shall look at sickle cell anemia in pregnancy. Remember that sickle cell anemia is an autosomal recessive disease that results from substitution of glutamic acid, a negatively charged hydrophilic amino acid, for valine, a neutral hydrophobic amino acid at the sixth position of the beta chain of hemoglobin. Remember that this is going to result as a point mutation on chromosome 11, the short arm at position 15.5, where the codon GAG changes to GTG. And this results in this sickling that usually happens when there is deoxygenation of the hemoglobin molecule. Initially, this sickling is reversible, but eventually becomes irreversible with time. Some factors that may promote sickling include infections, acidosis, dehydration, hypoxia, and cooling. The effects of sickle cell on pregnancy include an increased rate in urinary tract infections, spontaneous abortions, preeclampsia, chest and urinary infections, intrauterine growth restriction, fetal deaths, as well as preterm delivery. In the management of the condition, you want to avoid hypoxia, dehydration, and infections. You want to provide adequate analgesia, cover them on antibiotics, give oxygen and rehydration, aim to keep the hemoglobin above 10 grams per deciliter to minimize any risks of crises, and you want to aim for a vaginal delivery if there are no contraindications to vaginal delivery, and also provide epidural anesthesia to avoid the stress of labor. Treat any underlying complications of sickle cell within pregnancy. Thank you for taking your time to listen to this episode of Medicine in 5 Minutes. Subscribe if you still haven't subscribed to the channel. Drop a like, drop a comment. And until next time, my name is Dr. Moses Kazevo. Bye-bye.